Hi friends, so I would like to greet you and congratulate you because you are the pioneers that are helping ground 5D on planet Earth. You must have heard that the Divine Masculine awakens later. Okay, it, if, if you are a spiritual twin flame and matrix twin flame, there the Divine Masculine awakens at the end of the journey okay and in some twin flame connections the awakening of the masculine and feminine happen simultaneously okay so the thing is this entire twin flame journey is about really understanding the mysteries of the divine masculine and the mysteries of the divine feminine okay because these are the basis of the creation okay this is the true nature of father and mother god even though some cultures try to eliminate the mother aspect okay because it's the feminine energy that connects you to the higher dimensions okay the masculine energy alone is weak and tends to remain trapped and <coughs> trapped in the 3d and below okay but it's the feminine energy that awakens the sacred fire in the masculine okay and even the energy the sacred energy the kundalini is the divine feminine okay but that does not mean that uh, the divine masculine the shiva doesn't have value both of them have equal value okay so you have the consciousness you have the markaba you have the higher self you have the structure you have the chakra system that is the shiva aspect and then you have the kundalini rising according to the programs in the chakra system okay that is the feminine aspect of god okay together shiva and shakti create they create universes they create life they create everything that is worthwhile okay but everything that is not worthwhile is created through polarity okay so when there is a separation between the shiva and the shakti you get a low grade of man and you get a low grade of woman okay because this woman operates off of polarized patterns okay and this man operates off of fear based trauma based polarized pattern so let us come to today's topic which is getting to know why why does the divine masculine awaken at the end okay so why does he doesn't he awaken earlier okay see guys the fact is that the divine masculine is already awakened okay you are a divine feminine and he is a divine masculine okay you're born in an awakened state but the thing is because there is a uh, this collective karma in your field and then there is collective karma in your twins field okay there is both ancestral and as well as collective karma in both your fields that kind of a karmic debris in your chakras in your reality prevents him from keeping the feminine aspects balanced and prevents you from keeping the masculine aspects balanced okay and it is a certain protocol up to a certain amount of time which we know as the divine timing so there is this divine timing definitely that plays out for twin flames especially the ascended twin flames because their entire life is uh, controlled by the divine okay the timing when they are born the timing when they everything everything is a uh, timing when they meet the timing when they uh, awaken everything is controlled uh, by this higher system okay so the divine masculine cannot awaken in the 3d matrix okay because because it is because of the nature of the divine masculine okay if we talk about what is divine masculine see most of the masculine energies in a polarized world are very adapt adaptive one word that describes uh, the masculine that is polarized in a polarized world the karmic masculine the masculine whose third eye is not balanced one word that descri describes such masculine energy is adaptability survival okay 
so for survival and adaptability the masculine energy separates from his inner feminine aspects and becomes polarized okay so their priority is survival power and uh, you know these kinds of things basically you can just put it under one umbrella and say survival okay uh, there is another term for it, it's also called ego okay but ego is nothing but a trauma based coping mechanisms that essentially ensure your survival basically okay so it is a artificial entity that has separated off of the whole or you can say ego is the artificial entity an artificial system in your mind body complex that is separated off of your soul okay so it is a set of soul fragments okay that are operating out of unity consciousness i don't mean from unity consciousness i mean away from unity consciousness okay and all this information this traumas collective or ancestral all these programs are in the chakra okay that is why the soul is not fully embodied okay the soul stays parts of the soul are in the unconscious parts of the soul are in the conscious okay so uh, the divine masculine awakens at the end because it is the divine feminine that is the hero actually okay because you're both one soul you're both one soul and the divine masculine has a particular role and that role is usually to awaken the divine feminine that is usually to motivate the divine feminine okay and the divine feminine is actually the priestess energy okay she is the priestess she is the spiritual warrior okay like in my case my divine masculine is actually a warrior on the physical plane okay so he is a warrior on the physical level i am a warrior on the spiritual level okay so he has a power base on the physical level i have a power base on the spiritual level so this is how the matrix twin and the spiritual twin works but then to bring change in the matrix we need both of them to come together okay and both of them come together first within you that is the spiritual twin flame or that is the divine feminine okay and this whole concept of spiritual and matrix twin flame has been sort of uh, not talked about so much and that is because frankly speaking guys they are rare they are very rare okay and not only the first reason why uh, this concept of spiritual and matrix twin flame is not talked is because first of all they are rare and secondly they themselves don't know that they are in this kind of a connection because this type of realization comes to them pretty later on it takes many many years to understand who you are if you are in a spiritual and matrix twin flame connection because you're just trying to fit into you're just trying to fit into uh, society's expectation and trying to it's like a swan trying to be a duck plain and simple okay no matter how much you try you are a swan and you will remain a swan okay and that is why in hindu culture we have the name paramhamsa paramhamsa means uh, you know the most beautiful swan okay so that you your yogi that yogi that attains that higher level of consciousness okay so he is a paramhamsa so the divine masculine guys why the divine masculine remains in this unawakened state okay first of all the divine masculine is awakened but he is in a inactive state i wouldn't say unawakened he is awakened as a child he is awakened okay he is a divine masculine so like my divine masculine he is part of the spiritual groups he has so much interest in spirituality but he doesn't talk about it doesn't share about it with anyone why because he's still in his karmic matrix once he clears his karmic matrix then he will start sharing about it okay he usually shares about it uh, with people who are in the same community okay not other than that but even among people who are in the same community he will uh, avoid sharing avoid opening up because there are a lot of people who are 
in the highly karmic energies even in the spiritual circles right so they want to learn they want to grow they want to awaken but till then they want to drink your blood okay that is they want to attach to your chakras and they want to drain the energy that is what fragmented souls do right that is what mrityu loka is about mrityu loka means what means you attach you have attachments and you drain energy of your fathers okay if you don't drain energy of your fathers and all your chakras are balanced then you are enlightened being okay then you are a liberated soul your third eye is balanced you are a liberated soul okay otherwise you are just a person who lives in this matrix also known as mrityu loka okay once you cut all the cords the matrix your light body activates guys and there are few teachers few good teachers out there will talk about the light body because they have experienced it okay and a few teachers have just gathered the information from here and there these books and that books and then they talk about it okay so i am someone who has experienced it okay i have activated my light body my light body in the is in the process of a uh, full manifestation right now okay so it is also known as the nirvan sharira it's also known as the nirvan sharira okay so the divine masculine doesn't awaken he awakens later on because it is the divine feminine that has to ground the 5d matrix okay you must have heard a lot of other teachers as well say ground the 5d matrix ground the 5d matrix what does it mean okay it means you have to build the the soul connections not the karmic connections okay and you are able to ground the 5d matrix only when you transcend and clear your karmic monad so the first step is you have to clear your karmic monad attract your soul family and ground the 5d matrix okay that is when he awakens and he starts clearing his karmic monad he starts he starts i mean he's already awakened but he starts uh clearing his karmic monad and being more active in the process being more proactive in the clearing process okay so grounding the 5d matrix is not possible if your kundalini is not staying raised in the crown chakra okay if it is not staying raised in the crown chakra that means you have attachment cords and that means you're still in the matrix and you still have connections to the karmic monad okay and especially if you are a spiritual twin flame then uh, you can't you can't ground in the karmic monad therefore being a spiritual twin flame you have to first just do away with the karmic monad that is the most important thing for you only then you can ground okay because if you try to ground uh, without clearing the karmic monad uh, the matrix keeps sending its agents or the matrix uh, you just find more and more karmics okay so you cannot ground with the karmics you know that so as a spiritual twin flame you have to be who you are and do what you are good at okay and what does a priestess do you must have heard about uh, that uh, cartoon serial called he man okay i don't know if there's a movie made on it okay so in the serial he man we used to watch it when we were young okay you have this char- character called the sorceress okay and she turns into this eagle and then she turns back into the sorceress okay so she is the priestess archetype and she is the spiritual twin flame okay and a spiritual twin flame stays within the matrix okay but it's not a part of it like just like how jesus christ said you know be in the world but not of it why did he say because you have to be in the matrix and while being in the matrix you have to ground the 5d matrix that is the process that the ascended masters engage in okay because once you ground the 5d matrix you can then teach others how to do it okay but for that first you have to ground your 5d matrix okay now let me explain a little bit more clearly what is grounding 5d matrix and why your twin awakens only after you start grounding the 5d matrix okay 
5D matrix is your connections, okay, that are non-karmic in nature, okay. And when you build a connection, you build your support system, you build your world, you basically build a different world. Like for example, I have Rahu in the 10th house, okay. And according to Vedic astrology, those people who have Rahu in the 10th house, they are supposed to build a world of their own. And I have Rahu in the 10th house in the sign Pisces, which is the 5D, which is the 5th dimension. So it means I have to build a world of my own, which is a 5D world, which is the same thing as grounding the 5D matrix. Now, once you have grounded the 5D matrix, then your twin starts to awaken. He starts to clear the karmic monad. And he starts to attract the soul family connections. Okay, And then he starts grounding in the 5D matrix. Okay, before that he cannot ground. Okay, he has to, although he is an awakened being, guys, you don't know the kind of pain your twin goes through being awakened and yet having to take actions that are all about survival, that are all about power, you know. Like when I met my twin for the first time, yes, I met my twin. I could just read it in his eyes. I knew that this person is an awakened person, but he's also a very cunning person. Okay. And all his actions were consciously about survival. Okay. And contrary to uh, what is expected of the divine masculine, because he cannot ground as long as he is in his karmic matrix, right? And he cannot ground as long as you are in the karmic matrix, okay? First, you have to clear your karmic matrix, your karmic monad, which will then help him to clear his karmic monad, and then he can awaken and ground. I mean, I am keep saying it, he's already awakened. Then he can uh, show up as an awakened being. That's what I meant, okay? And this is the true nature of the masculine energy. And those who are guys, they will never show this. This is the last thing that they will show, but uh, it's all about survival first, okay? They will always choose the 3D matrix. They will always choose uh, the physical world, okay? And they will separate from their soul. But they have to do that only if they are carrying a certain amount of karma, okay? If they are not carrying karma, then uh, they don't have to suppress their inner feminine okay but the problem is every masculine energy that is born on this planet is born in mrityu loka is born in the third dimension right unless uh yes yes it's a polarity world it's a polarity world so you have to take on a certain amount of a karmic debris a karmic debt to come into this world okay so every masculine energy that comes into this world cannot be a divine masculine okay somebody can be a divine masculine only when they're completely enlightened okay and they then and they are grounding the 5d matrix okay that's when uh, that's when uh, somebody can be a truly enlightened person okay yes there have been a lot of other people who are very spiritual okay and who do good things who do wonderful things okay but like for example if you look at this uh, teacher called Sadhguru and many other powerful spiritual leaders okay how are they able to become so powerful because they are in their 5d matrix they are not in the karmic monad because you cannot become successful as long as you are in the karmic monad if you are a 5D being. Got it? If you are a 5D being, if you are a human being, you accept it as that is the way how life exists. Polarity is the way how life exists. You know, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to survive. To survive socially, to survive financially, we separate and fragment our soul. Okay, we, we go through soul fragmentation. For survival in the matrix because you're carrying a certain amount of karma and it depends on how much karmic debt a person carries those with a lot of karmic debt have to suppress their soul and fragment more those with less karmic debt 
are more able to align and embody their soul okay and that is pretty much the reason why we work on chakra balancing because we are clearing the karmic debris okay so that we can embody the soul okay but the nature of the divine masculine is such that he will show up as a divine masculine he will be proactive in the twin flame journey he will uh, accept you as his divine feminine all those things he will do only after you achieve nirvana okay only after you keep the kundalini raised in your crown chakra only after you cut all the psychic cord to the karmic matrix and your karmic monad okay and you ground your soul family on the 5d monad now there is a saying that uh, you cannot live on this planet if you clear all your karma and you get moksha that is why the twin flames are separated into two bodies okay because if you are one body then the energy frequency would be very high and you wouldn't be able to stay on this planet okay after all the cords are cut and your karmic monad is gone but that is the reason why the soul is separated in two parts okay your male part is outside okay and the female part is in a different body male part is in a different body so that even after you uh, achieve the nirvana or even after you achieve the kundalini in the crown chakra okay because there are two separate bodies you can still stay grounded on this planet okay so guys uh, this is what i have to share with you today regarding the nature of the masculine energy okay so the divine masculine is awakened okay but he will not disclose his love for you you can see it in his eyes <laughs> you can see it in his eyes and he will not take uh proactive actions along the twin flame journey because he is still in his karmic monad and you have to free him from his karmic monad okay so guys bye for now if you like this video then please give it a like share subscribe and i will see you again next time bye for now